Hi, welcome to High Road. My name's Andrew, and this is a video on how to connect your MIDI keyboard to Pro Tools and get some sounds. Now there's really two kinds of main keyboards that you need to know how to connect. Um, and I've got both of them here. The first kind is a proper dedicated MIDI controller keyboard. This kind of keyboard has no sounds built into it. If you turn it on and play a note, there's no sound. It doesn't have even a, a headphone jack because its job is to send MIDI signals into a computer or something else and the sounds come out of that thing. Um, because of that it's very light, it's um, very simple and it connects via either a USB cable or via MIDI cables. The second one here, this is a, a proper stage piano so it's a bit heavier, um, it's got 88 keys and this one doesn't connect via USB, it connects only via MIDI cables. And I'm going to show you how to do that. This one has its own piano sound built in and you could take this to a gig and perform with it. Not this one. This one needs something else to make sounds. So let's start with the MIDI controller keyboard. Okay, this is the back of my MIDI controller keyboard. It's very simple. Just got a USB port. That's a jack for a sustain pedal. Uh, MIDI in and out and that's a power socket. Now most you know, cheaper end controller keyboards don't even have the MIDI jacks or a power input. They've just got the USB. So if that's you, all you need is a USB cable, plug it straight in, and then the other end goes into the back of your computer. Okay, now for the stage piano. Uh, we're going to do things a little bit differently with this one. It doesn't have a USB port, this is what it's got on the side. So first of all, because this doesn't have a USB port, it needs its own source of power. So we actually have to connect up power to the power jack for this one. Let's do that first. And make sure it's on. Next thing is uh, we need to connect a cable to the MIDI output. The input doesn't matter, it's the output we want. So this is a five pin uh, MIDI cable and that connects straight into there. Now the other end of the MIDI cable has to go into a MIDI input. In my case I have a MIDI input built into my audio interface so I can plug straight into that. But if you don't have a MIDI input in your interface you can purchase um, a standalone MIDI interface but either way your MIDI cable has to go into a MIDI input of some kind. Now before we even get to Pro Tools, there's two things that you have to do first. Number one, if you plugged in a USB MIDI keyboard, then you need to install the drivers for that keyboard before Windows will be able to talk to it. Probably Windows will do this in a plug and play automated way, but if not, you need to go to the manufacturer's website and download the software yourself. So in my case, I have a Yamaha keyboard, so this would be the driver that I would need to install. But luckily for me, uh, when I plugged my keyboard in, it just was plug and play. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is, if, if you want to play your keyboard through sounds in Pro Tools, you're going to need some sounds in Pro Tools. So you need to install some virtual instruments. Luckily, if you have bought Pro Tools, then you are um, entitled to a free suite of instrument plugins called the Air Creative Collection of Virtual Instruments. If you have Pro Tools first or Pro Tools free or something like that, you may not have access to this, but there's plenty of other similar uh, suites of plugins available. Lots of them are free, but this is the one um, I recommend if you want to follow along with this tutorial. So you just open that up and go through the normal installation process. This suite of plugins um, includes drum kits, pianos, keyboards, guitars, string pads, synth pads, um, pretty much every possible kind of instrument that you could think of. Um, it, it even includes some really interesting sort of um, customizable synthesizers, um, some samplers. Um, yeah, definitely a good one to start out with. Okay, so now if we open Pro Tools,
those instruments should be available to us. All right, as this is a beginner tutorial, I don't want to skip anything or assume that you know anything. So let's go through some of the basic settings in this um, dashboard window. You want to choose the Create tab and you want to choose Session and choose a name for your session like uh, MIDI Keyboard Test. Uh, down here, we want to have um, the WAV type selected and I would probably recommend 16-bit for this because we're just mucking around. Uh, you don't need the higher quality bit rates at 24 or 32-bit. That's for um, audio recording and 16-bit's fine for what we're doing today. 44.1 uh, kilohertz is also fine. Down here is where you would choose where you want to save your session. Uh, I always save mine on a separate hard drive uh, to keep everything together. Uh, and just hit Create. Alright, now if you haven't seen this before, this is the standard default Pro Tools workspace. We've got three main things that I want you to pay attention to. We've got the edit window, we have the mix window, and we have the transport. So the edit window is like a tape recorder. It's where your um, audio tracks and your MIDI tracks will appear. Your mix window is more like a mixing desk. It's where the channels will appear and you can actually um, mix the levels and the balances in that window. The transport is like your playback controls, record, play, stop, rewind, that kind of thing. If some of these are not visible to you right now, then, uh, you know, if something's missing, you just go to the window menu and you can get them all back. There's mix, there's edit, and there's transport. Um, if you don't have all this transport showing as well, go over here to the little triangle and you can choose to have a minimal view or the whole thing. So hopefully that's all you need to know for now. Um, let's get started with adding a new track. So go to the track menu, choose new. Uh, here, don't worry whether it's mono or stereo. Mono is fine for now. Um, I have a separate video on the differences between mono and stereo. Don't worry about it for now. Over here we want to choose instrument track and press create. Okay, so this is what a track looks like when you first open it up. Uh, we've got empty insert slots here and in the mix window you can see them as well. If you don't have these you need to go to the view menu and go to edit window views and uh, make sure that you've got a tick next to inserts. You can turn them on and off like that. We're going to click on one of the empty inserts and go down to the instrument folder and here's all the instruments that we have available to us. Uh, I'm just going to use a grand piano for now because that's easy. Now at the moment you'd think this would be working uh, if I play some keys on my keyboard that it would just work but not yet. Um, if, I, if I use my mouse I can actually play this piano on the screen which is cool. But I want to be able to play it on my keyboard with my fingers. So let me just grab my keyboard now. I'm going to put it on my lap. Which is one of the advantages of having a lightweight controller keyboard. Okay. So you can see here, I've got it plugged in, it's in front of me, it's on my lap. And if I play the keys, nothing happens. I need to go back into Pro Tools and I have to um, arm this track or record enable this track. So this little button here, the red square button, if I click that and it's flashing, now my keyboard should work. Okay, just like that. Um, that's about all we really need to cover for this tutorial um, because I don't. Uh, if you want to know how to do recording and work with MIDI and edit MIDI, uh, that's for another video. This video is really just about trying to help you to get your keyboard connected to Pro Tools and to show you how to open up an instrument plugin and just get the sounds working. Um, I'll show you a couple of other instruments if you like. Uh, if you click on that plugin, it will just basically open it up for you. If you want to get rid of it, 
the little circle to the left, click on that and you can choose no insert and it disappears. Now if you play the keyboard, nothing happens. Um, so if I go back into the inserts and choose a different instrument, I'll choose maybe the DB33. This is a really cool organ. Uh, I'll choose the Boom plugin. This is like an 808 drum synthesizer. Um, if you know how to play drums on the keyboard, this can be quite fun. Uh, what else have we got? Um, this expand plugin is very useful. It's it's like a library of about 500. Hang on. It's just taking its time. It's a library of about 500 and something different sounds of all kinds. So when you open this up and click on the folder, look at all that. You've got that's just the soft pads. Then you've got bright pads, huge pads. If I go down here to drum kits, I've got 46 different variations of drum kits. Um, Probably just like the first or second one is the one you'll use. Pop kit, let's try that. Okay. Um, or I can choose, let's find string pad, tremolo strings. That looks cool. What's that? So go for your life, have some fun. And I hope this video has helped you to uh, figure out how to plug in your MIDI keyboard and how to get some sounds open in Pro Tools. And if you want to know more, uh, please click on the links that will be appearing on this um, video now, which will take you to other videos that will show you how to go further. Um, there should also be some links in the description below. And I uh, hope you enjoyed please click subscribe and more videos to come. Bye.